بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب يسر ولا تؤسر وتم بالخير كاسي نمبر 11 لما هذه ها السكتي ويؤتى بها في الوقف كما في قوله تعالى يؤتى بها is the passive form أتا يأتي is to come and utiya yuta is to is to come but in the passive and when it comes with the preposition of be that means to bring lima hadhihi ha usakti wa yuta biha fil waqfi so lima is ha usakt and it is brought yuta biha it is brought fil waqfi when we stop or while stopping kama fi qawlihi ta'ala as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا هِيَا As we can see over here, it is sakin and there is fatha before it. It does not have any, uh, you know, like, doesn't have uh, fatha, damma or kasra, it is sakin. And it, that's why it is called ha'u sakti, it is always sakin. إِنَّ الشَّمْسَ وَالْقَمَرَ آيَتَانِ لَا يَنْكَسِفَانِ The hadith that we discussed previously. الضمير في ينكسفاني يعود إلى الشمس والقمر. The the pronoun ينكسفاني the the pronoun that we have inside it uh, goes back to الشمس والقمر وهما مؤنث ومذكر and they both are feminine and masculine. وجاء بالفعل بصيغة المذكر تغليبا. جاء ب uh, what will be the meaning of جاء ب is it active or passive Passive, okay. Ja'a yaji'u means to come. And ja'a yaji'u is active and ja'a yuja'u will be passive. Okay. Ja'a bi, when it comes with the preposition of bi, then what does it mean? Ja'a is to come and ja'a bi is to bring. When it comes with the preposition of ba, that means to bring. وَجِيْءَ بِالْفَعْلِ بِصِيغَةِ الْمَذَكَّرِ تَغْلِيبًا And then the masculine form is, is brought forward or is used تَغْلِيبًا for the sake of predominance to make something dominant. جِيْءَ Do you remember an example from the Qur'an? وَجِيْءَ يَوْمَ يَذِمْ بِجَهَنَّمْ Yeah, and, and the day when Jahannam will be brought forward. So such a beautiful expression the Shaykh has used over here. Uh, as we can see here, so Ja'a is to come and Ja'a is to bring and it, when it comes with the preposition of B, it becomes passive. وَجِيَا بِالْفَعْلِ بِصِيغَةِ الْمَذَكَّرِ And it is, in the verb, it comes with the form of masculine, تَغْلِيبًا for the sake of predominance. يُغَلَّبُ Is it active or passive? يُغَلَّبُ Passive, excellent. If it is يُغَلِّبُ, it will be active and when we have fatha on the second last letter, then it becomes uh, passive. يُغَلَّبُ المذكرو على المؤنثي And then uh, predominance is given to the, to the masculine over feminine. And when we talk about this, that means we are talking about the form of, of, of the noun or the verb. نحو, for example, أَبْنَائِي وَبَنَاتِي يَدْرُسُونَ بِالْجَامِعَةِ my sons and my daughters study in the university. So here, abnai wa banati yadrusuna wa yadrusna bil jamiati. So there is no need to bring both yadrusuna wa yadrusna because uh, for, for masculine we know that it is abnai and for the feminine it will be yadrusna. But there is no need, uh, as we know that in Arabic language, when we have mixed gender, then the dominance is given to the masculine and that is only the uslub of Arabic language. As we have discussed earlier. Number 13. Faida ra'aytu muha Allah. And when you see both of them, then call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huna al halu mahdufatun. If taqdeer al kalami, as uh, the meaning of the of the kalam is, Faida ra'aytu muha mun kasifina. When you see them being eclipsed. Again, Hadf uh, is over there and inshallah we will see many examples of this in the Qur'an. Uh, so this is also one of the points where we need to know that when when 
something is mentioned over there and when you look at the translation and the translation uh, you know like covers something extra so that means that something is mahdhuf in the arabic language however it is brought in the, the english language so that the reader can understand what exactly it means so faida ra'aytumuha munkasifina is basically faida ra'aytumuha when you see both of them so it refers to us what ashams wal qamar and we know that when we see them in which state we see them when we see them being eclipsed so we know hal means state of the person of the thing like in what state that is and in this state they are being uh, eclipsed and inshallah about hal uh, we will discuss about this in one of the following lessons 14 wasallu hatta yanjaliya fa'il yanjali dhamirun mustatirun or mustatirun yaudu ala al kusufi and we can see over here that in yanjaliya there is a hidden dhamir which refers to what? It refers to the solar eclipse, to uh, Al Kusuf, Al Mafhumi min Sayaqi, and we can understand it from the context. So, if you see the the end of the hadith, it says Wasallu hatta yanjaliya. So, when we see yanjaliya, uh, we should know that it refers to basically there is a hidden. We know that whenever we have the first sigha of the verb or the fourth sigha of the verb, there is a possibility like there might be something or there might be. Uh, Adamir that is hidden inside that. For example, Nasara, when we say Nasara uh, Bilalun Hamidan, we know that Bilal is the one who is helping Hamid. But when we say Nasara Hamidan, then what will be the meaning? Nasara Hamidan, he helped Hamid. So where do we get he from? Nasara Hamidan. We know that there is a Damir inside that, which is that means he, and that is hidden, and that's why it is called. Mustatar, something that has been made to hide. And this is clear from the from the context. Siyak means context. So uh, in Arabic we, we have the, the, the word kusuf which is used for the solar eclipse and khusuf is used for the lunar eclipse. In the hadith we have yan kasifani which refers to the solar eclipse. Number 15. Adhil kulla kalimatin mimma ya'ti fi jumlatin mufidatin what kind of ma is this and what will be the difference between this and if i have this excellent so this is ma al mausula perfect and ma al mausula always comes with alif after the preposition it always comes with alif what about this ma mimma what kind of ma is this Yeah, but we don't have the alif. We have only meme over here. Mimma. We discussed in the beginning of the lesson. Yeah. Whenever, whenever, yeah, whenever ma comes after the preposition and we see that the alif is mahdhuf, that means that this is ma ul istifhamiya. The ma that is used to ask a question, as we have in the Quran, amma yatasa'alun. So when we have in the Quran, amma yatasa'alun, how is it written in the Quran? It's written like this, okay? So that means it's not amma, because if we have alif, then it becomes ma al masula. But when we have mim, when when alif is sakin, that means it is ma ul istifhamiya, which is used to ask a question. So amma yatasa'alun. About what are they asking? But here we have mimma, and the example from the Quran is wa uh, yunfiqun, wa yunfiqun, and they spend from what we have given them. So when there is alif, that means from what we have given them. So that is ma al mausula. In fataha, in kasara, in qalaba, takassara, and laula. Now we have to use them in sentences. Uh, these sentences are from the book. هَذَا الْبَابُ لَا يَنْفَتِحُ this, bab, this door does not open. أُدْخُلْ مِنَ الْبَابِ الْآخِرِ Enter from the other door. إِنْ كَسَرَتْ نَظَّارَتِي My glass is broke. فَلَا أَكَادُ أَرَى And I am not able to see. أَكَادُ كَادَ يَكَادُ As we know that it means that something is about to happen. And كَادَ يَكَادُ always has اسمُ كَادَ and خَبَرُ كَادَ 
And please remember that khabaru kada is always present tense. Khabaru kada is what? It is always present tense. Fala akadu ara, I am not able to see. So in akadu, basically we know that ana is the is ismu kada and ara is khabaru kada and we know that ara is the present tense. If you look at the example from the Quran, uh, Surah Baqarah, verse number 20, 20, 20, 0. So you can see over there, barqu. So we know that barqu is ismu kada. Yakhtafu, as we know, is the present tense, uh, which uh, means snatch away. So the lightning almost snatches away their sight. So whenever you see this kada yakadu in the Quran, you will always see that uh, the verb that comes after that is always present tense. It will never ever be past tense. In Qalabatis Sayyaratu wa matar rukkabu. The car capsized and the passengers died. Takassar uh, zujaju. The glass broke into pieces. Lawla al ikhtibaru. Lasafartu al yawma. Had it not been for the exams, I would have traveled today. And we know that after Lawla. Uh, we have uh, Muptada, which is Al-Ikhtibaru, Khabar is Mahdhuf, and uh, always, this is Shart, so Jawab Shart is always past tense, and if it is a regular sentence, if it is not negative, then it comes with La. La safartu al yama. I would have, or I could have traveled today. Some of the examples uh, of, of from number 7 from the Quran, Infa'ala yanfa'ilu. So, fail al-amr will be infail. The person who will do something or the person who will receive something. Now, this is very important over here. Another, uh, you know, beauty of the Arabic language, as we saw, as we know that ajaibul lughati al-arabiyati la tantahi. That the wonders of Arabic language do not come to an end. Munfa'il, it is on the pattern of doer, but there is a possibility that it can also be the receiver. How come it can be the receiver? That as Because we know that this form, which is form number 7, has the passive meaning. So the, the, the wazan or the patron can be the patron of the doer, but the meaning can be passive. And inshallah, we will see one of the examples from the verses of the Quran. In shakka, yan shakku, in shakik, and it can also be in shakik, and the person uh, uh, or, or the doer will be mun shakikun, and mun shakak, and in shakak. And we, whenever we look at uh, at the masdar, then it will be fakul uh, idgham that the idgham opens up. Okay, here we don't have idgham, but what if we have idgham? Then what will be the the form? Now it is munshaqiqun, but if we do the idgham, then it will be munshaqun. What will be the form after idgham? It will be munshaqun, and then it will be only one qaf, and it will not be two, as we can see over here. Intalaqa, yantaliqu, intaliq, muntaliq, muntalaq, and intilaq. And we know that muntalaq is basically, it will be dharf, uh, and it cannot be passive, or it cannot be ismul maf'ul. Intilaq is to depart or the departure. In qalaba yan qalibu in qalib mun qalib mun qalab in in qalab to turn around or to return. All right. So now, uh, please try to figure out uh, the forms, whether it is past, present, is it masdar or fail al amr or fail al nahi, as we ha we always do. So the verse number verse number one. إذا السماء شقت. Yes, please. ماضي السر. ماضي ماضي للمذكر أو المؤنث. مؤنث يا سر. مؤنث. Excellent. And how do we know? We know that this is تاء الساكن. So this is تاء ال تاء التأنيث. It's called تاء التأنيث. So that's why we say that this is feminine. When the sky will split up apart. So what will happen? Will the sky split apart by itself? Of course not. With the idhan and amr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Bi amrillahi wa bi idhanillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. It will not split apart by itself. 
however the process will be splitting apart the process will be uh, it will crack into pieces but it will only happen with the permission and with the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ثم ارجع البصر كرتين ينقلب اليك البصر خاصا وهو حسير yes now here we have ينقلب first of all please tell me if it is pa- is it is uh, present or past present present okay it is majzoom right why is it majzoom a verb will be majzoom it cannot be majzoom for no reason there has to be a reason for a verb to be majzoom why is it majzoom hmm? it is the condition condition where is the condition that is the mahdhuf ya usta no i mean verb is majzoom the verb will be majzoom for a reason it cannot be majzoom it cannot be chopped without any reason there has to be a reason thumma you know thumma is is used to connect uh, you know two two nouns or verbs or two sentences so we know that thumma uh, is not uh, it's not it's ghayru amil it cannot have any impact thummarje thummarje so irje what kind of verb is this amr amr okay and what happens after amr whenever we have mudare it becomes majzum we discussed even in the previous lesson we discussed in several lessons that this is called jawab talab talab is it can be amr it can be nahi and jawab talab will always be majzum so it is majzum because it is jawab talab of irje yes please is there any question is this clear why is it majzum because it is jawab talab where is the talab talab is here uh, yeah what do we have we, over here we have fail al amr so whenever we have fail al amr before it or whenever we have nahi before it or whenever we have istifham before it three things okay because all of them are in the category of talab then after that whenever mudare happens to be to, to be there after that it will always be majzum even in the previous lesson we discussed about this okay fan fajarat min huthnata ashrata ayna yes fan fajarat right basically it's in fajarat but when we have fa or anything before that then this hamza is not pronounced so it becomes fan fajarat min huthnata ashrata ayna to gush gush forth and they are gushed forth from it 12 springs okay fan fajarat is used for the feminine right why the verb is used over here for the feminine ainan ainan is is feminine in arabic language may it be the eye or may it be the spring uh, all of them they have the meaning of femininity so it will be that's why the verb that is used for this is the feminine verb excellent wal mushrikina munfakina what about munfakina excellent and we know that here the the re- the real verb will be infakka yanfakku infikakan fa huwa munfakkun so munfakkun munfakkani munfakkuna munfakkuna munfakkina munfakkina so as we can see over here that it is mansub over here and it is ismul fa'il excellent intaliqu ila ma kuntum bihi tukadhibun yes amriya excellent intaliqu is fil al amr so what will be the past tense and the present tense intalaqa intalaqa yantaliqu intilaqan excellent intaliqu ila ma kuntum bihi tukadhibun wa inna ila rabbina lamunqalibun yes munqalib ismul fa'il ismul fa'il excellent and indeed we to our lord will surely return 
Why we have lamb over here? No, of course not. Lamu talil is amil. After that, the verb or the noun has to change. But here, there is no change. Because of inna, you know. Inna, inna al-insana la fi khusr. Inna al-abarara la fi na'im. Wa inna al-fujjara la fi jahim. So after inna, inna al-shirka la dhulmun azimun. This is lam al-muzahlaqa that is used for the purpose of emphasis. It normally comes with the a mubtada, but when we have inna, then it slides away and it shifts to the khabar because two uh, particles of uh, emphasis cannot come together. فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالطَّاغِوتِ وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ اسْتَمْسَكَ بِالْعُرْوَةِ الْوُثْقَ لَنْ فَسَامَ لَهَا انفصام. Yes, what about انفصام? Masdar, excellent. Infasama, yanfasimu, infisaman, a break. Okay, now here, yakfur is verb and it is majzum, and yu'min is majzum. Why are they majzum? What happened over here? Yes, excellent. This is because man, as we know, that particle of is is particle of condition, adatu shart. And after man, the verb will always be majzum when it is used in the context of condition. Whoever, as we can see here, so that's why. And uh, wow, we know is wow al atf, which connects with, uh, two or three verbs or what, how many verbs we have. So there is atfu, a failin, ala failin. So yakfur and yu'min, both of, both of them have atf. Excellent. Wal munkhaniqatu wal mawqudha. Munkhaniqa. Ismul fail. Uh, is it mudhakkar or mu'annath? Mu'annath. Mu'annath. Yeah. yeah, please remember. So whenever we have ismul fail, please try to make both. Try to make masculine and feminine forms. Yani munqalibun, munqalibatun. Similarly, munkhanifun, munkhani. Qun and munkhaniqatun. So you have to make masculine and feminine so that we get used to it. Now, wal mun khaniqatu wal mawqudatu. If you look at the translation, it says, which is killed by strangling. Here, mun khaniqatu, as we can see, is ismul fail. But it gives the meaning of passive. Why does it give the meaning of passive? For example, we know nasara yansuru nasirun. Nasirun means the one who helps, right? Fataha yaftahu fatihun, the one who opens. Qatala yaqtalu qatilun, the one who kills. But here, munkhaniqatu is used as passive. Do you remember? I, I just discussed in the beginning of the lesson so that when we reach this example, and I, I gave you the example that the, that the, uh, ajaibu lugat al arabiya la tantahi, that it's difficult, yeah, yeah? In this version, Mm -hmm. uh, the will come like that only after. Yes, as we know, the the wonders of Arabic will never come to an end. It is basically the pattern, as we need to know two things are different. Pattern is something and the meaning is something else. It is the pattern of the doer, ismul file. However, it has the meaning of the passive. Why? Because we know that the, the, the form itself has the meaning of passive. We discussed from the beginning of the lesson that it might be doer but it will be the receiver of the action and we saw in the beginning uh, kasara means to be to to break but in kasara means to be broken so in kasara is basically he broke but it is not he broke the translation is uh, the one that is broken so we know that uh, the doer whether it may be doer or may, may it be small file it will always carry the meaning of the passive and not the meaning of the active one talaq al malau minhum and the eminent among them went forth. One talaqa. Yes, what about one talaqa? Past tense. Excellent, yeah. So this is fail and al malau is fa'il. Past tense and then we have the doer after that and min hum is jar majroor. And the eminent among them went forth. 
Excellent. Now we have uh, some vocab. Nadara yanduru, nadaran uh, to look at. Nadara yanduru, nasara yansuru. As we can see, a and u. That means this is bab nasara yansuru. U represents damma, and a represents fatha. So that's why we will say nasara yansuru, nadara yanduru, and nadaran to look at. Then we have adara, and what is the pattern now? Adara. What will be the pa the present tense? Kasra ya. Uh, the Sheikh in his books, throughout his books and the dictionary that uh, he has used, uh, his own dictionary, uh, here I represents kasra and you represents damma. So whenever you see I uh, a and I and I a represents fatha. Yeah. So this is fatha, this is damma, and this is kasra. So whenever you see this, that means that the mudare is on the pattern of daraba yadribu adara yadiru udran wa ma'dhiratan so we can see that it has masdaran ma'dhiratan what kind of masdar is this it has a name do you remember the name come on you should remember something from the past al masdar al mimi the masdar that starts with meme that's why it is called Al Master Al Mimi. And the reason why I'm telling you again and again and again, because in the lesson, inshallah, we will discuss about this so that you should be ready before you t take a lesson. I want you to be ready and you should know it before you read the lesson. So, what do we call this? Al Master Al Mimi. And it starts with meme. That's why it's called Master Al Mimi. Now, Dharatun spectacles. Qabila. Qabila yaqbalu. Samia yasma'u. Qabila yaqbalu. Qabulan to accept. Al kaharabau electricity and we discussed that it is feminine in Arabic. Istata yastatiu istataatan to be able. Why do we have tamarbut over here? Please answer this question. <laughs> Does anyone remember the question? Answer. Example: Adafa yudifu idafatan. Anaba yunibu inabatan. Ajaba yujibu ijabatan istata yastatiu istataatan. So, why do we have tamarbuta over here? If the past tense has alif, then masdar takes extra tamarbuta. Please write it down, note it down that whenever we have alif in the past tense, then the masdar always takes tamarbuta. I gave you the example of idafa. Adafa, we have Adafa, sorry, Adafa, so we have Hamza, Dad, Alif, and then Fa. Adafa, Yudifu, what is the Masdar? Adafatan. Anaba, Yunibu, what is the Masdar? Inabatan. Istata, Yastatiu, what is the Masdar? Istataatan. In Kasara, Yan Kasiru, in Kisaran, the same form that we are discussing no, now to be broken. Istamarra, Yastamirru. Istimraran to continue from number 10 inshallah. In qata'a yan qata'u in qata'an to be cut off. Number 7. Muntasafun middle and we know that this is from number 8 which we will discuss inshallah in the next lesson. In qalaba yan qalibu in qilaban has two meanings to be turned upside down and also to return. Waqqafa yuwaqqifu tawqifan is to stop from number 2. We know that form number 2 is causative. But when it goes into form number 5 as we know, then it becomes passive. is to stop or to come to a standstill or to stop by itself. As we have discussed that uh, in form number 2 it can be causative, but in form number 5 it can be passive. And as you can see over here, to come to a standstill, yani to stop by itself. To become clear. Is to make something clear. Munatafun is what is this munatafun i mean grammatically what is this dharf right yes dharf makan excellent excellent because we know that in the derived forms of the verb the pattern of ismul maf'ul is also used as dharf it could be dharf zaman or makan depends okay mururun is traffic and we know that murur is masdar Master of what? Does anyone remember? 
مصدر آف مرا 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 یا مرو مرورا فہو مار سو دس از دا مصدر آف سو دیٹس وائی سم تھنگ دیٹ پاس از بائی کوکلی سی اینڈ دیٹس دیٹس ہاؤ دا عربز ڈیڈ دے آر ویری یو نو ایز یو کین سی کین ٹو ٹو یو نو وین دے لوک ایٹ سم تھنگ دین دے ول جسٹ ایسوسیٹ اٹ ود دیٹ تھنگ اینڈ دین کریٹ دا میننگ بائی دیٹ سو دیٹس وائی مرور دے ہیو گیون دا میننگ آف ٹریفک بیکاز دیٹ از سم تھنگ دیٹ کیپس آن پاسنگ اینڈ کیپس آن موونگ جسرن اینڈ دا پلورل از جسورن آن دا پیٹرن آف رولن بریج انیفن سویر اور وائلنٹ فدلن گریس فیور اینڈ کائنڈنیس انخلا ین خلی انخلا دا فرام نمبر سیون ٹو بی ڈس لاسٹ ان کا صفا ین کا صف ان کے صافن ٹو بی اکلپسڈ کسرا یو کسر تقصیرن از ٹو بریک تکسرا یا تکسر از ٹو بی بروکن قبطی کاپٹ اور کاپٹک ایز وی ڈسکسڈ ماریت القبطیہ ون آف دا وائفز آف پروفٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آف دا ایجپشن اوریجن اینڈ اٹس یوزڈ فار دا پیپل آف ایجپٹ بفور اسلام زجاجن گلاس اعجمیون نان عرب علم اعجمیون دیٹ مینز نان عربک پراپر ناؤن انشق ینشق انشقاق ٹو اسپلٹ فرام نمبر سیون اینڈ ینشق از یوزڈ ود آؤٹ از یوزڈ ود ادغام انصرف ین صرف انصراف ٹو گو اوے ڈپارٹ اینڈ آلسو ٹو ٹیک تنوین سو دیٹس وائی وی سیف فہو منصرف اور غیر منصرف سو دا ناؤن دیٹ ٹیکس تنوین اور دا ناؤن دیٹ ڈز ناٹ ٹیک تنوین مطاوع وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ مینی ٹائمس دیٹ اے ورب ان ایکٹیو وائس بٹ ود دا پیسو میننگ ان ریلیشن ٹو اینی ادر فارم آف دا سیم ورب حبلن اینڈ دا پلورل از حبالن روپ ہزم یہزم ایز وی کین سی ہیئر دارب یدربو ہزم یہزم حزیمت ٹو ڈیفیٹ اینڈ ان ہزم ین ہزم ان حزام از ٹو بی ڈیفیٹڈ قلب یقلب قلب ٹو ٹرن اپ سائڈ ڈاؤن اینڈ دیٹس وائی دا ورڈ دیٹ از یوزڈ فار دا ہارٹ از قلب بیکاز اٹ جسٹ کیپس آن چینجنگ اپ سائڈ اینڈ ڈاؤن بوتھ بایولوجیکلی اینڈ آلسو وین وی ٹاک ٹاک اباؤٹ دا فیلنگس دے کیپ آن چینجنگ سو دیٹس وائی اٹ از کال قلب ہارٹ وقع یقع وقوع ہیز سیورل میننگس ٹو فال ڈاؤن ٹو کم ٹو پاس ہیپن بی لوکیٹڈ اینڈ بی سچویٹڈ سو وی کین سی دیٹ اٹ ہیز سیورل میننگس ان طفا ین طفی ان طفا ان ٹو بی پوٹ آؤٹ اینڈ اٹ کین آلسو بی یوزڈ فار دا فائر ان فجرا ین فجر ان فجار ٹو برسٹ اور ٹو ایکسپلوڈ غزواتن And the plural is غزواتن The battle, especially the battle that is led by Prophet Muhammad صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اردن The plural is ارادن And when we have ال with that, it becomes ال ارادی Earth And also the plural is اردونا اردونا اردینا اردینا منصرمون Past And العام المنصرمو Past or the last year بضعتن As we discussed that it means numbers from 3 to 9 And we discussed two examples from the Quran So Bid'atun, so this is with Dad and the one, the other one that we have is Bid'atun, which is with Dal, which is innovation in uh, affairs of the Deen. May Allah protect us from that. So this is Dad and this is Dal. So the pronunciation changes the meaning. Bid'atun and Bid'atun. Fariqun, Furaqa'u, Mamnu Minas Sarf, Team. Sadaqa, Yasduqu, Sidqan, to speak the truth. Zahara, Yadharu, Zahuran, to appear. Arrafa yu'arifu tarifan to make a noun definite. And then we have, as we say, tarifa tankir, nakira and marifa. Natijatun and nataiju is mamnu min as-sarf. And then alamun, alamun, proper noun. And also alam means flag, the flag of a country. Since it's like high, that's why the word is used, alamun, for a proper noun. Taghlibun, to treat a combination of masculine and feminine. Elements as masculine and this is GR that means grammatically as we can see over here. To use one grammatical element to cover more than one element. Ghalaba yaghlibu ghalabatan to subdue, to conquer or to overcome. So ghalaba yaghlibu is to, to overcome and ghalaba yaghlibu taghliban to make someone overcome something. That's why it is called taghlib and siyaqun is, uh, is the context. Tamma darsu bi'awni Allahi ta'ala. Alhamdulillah, our lesson is completed. And inshallah, when we meet again, we will start with form number eight of the verb. 
سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك اشهد ان لا اله الا انت استغفرك واتوب اليك السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته السلام عليكم وياكم <تصفيق>